Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Don't get twisted in the mind, or you'll strangle yourself. A dog is like a book. Can you read his body language? Don't approach a dog in these following situations. It hurts. A dog is like family to most. Treat them kind of fair. They'll return the favor. It's love, and that's the way it all works. Saw his squirrel started running after him. I lost his leash when he pulled too hard. The dog was chasing after us, not a squirrel. Well, you were acting like squirrel. Hasn't anybody ever taught you not to run from a dog? It makes them want to chase you. Emma wouldn't bite you. Come down here and I'll show you. No, thank you. I can see him just fine from up here. All right. Well, you're missing out. Emma's a good dog. Everyone should know how to be safe around dogs, even if you don't have a dog of your own. Dogs are everywhere in my neighborhood, especially pit bulls. I'm sure lots of dogs are in your neighborhood too. If you do have a dog, you are responsible for keeping him safe at all times, which includes making sure he is always on a leash when you walk him and that you are always in control of that leash. Now, a lot of kids are afraid of dogs, but if you act scared to run away, that makes a dog more likely to chase you. Most dogs, including pit bulls, are friendly, but you need to understand them so that you don't become one of the 800,000 people a year who are bitten by a dog and seek medical attention in the United States. Besides, if you're scared of dogs, you'll miss out on all they have to offer. Pay close attention and you will learn how to be safe around dogs and enjoy their company. I treat a dog like dirt, it's like I'm without a brain Because it doesn't make sense to me Where's the real collar? You should give your dog love, not pain or injury All dogs deserve respect If you don't believe me, take it from a vet Dog bites are preventable It's all in the way that we train and treat our animals An animal that is made a member of the family Is less likely to bite and more likely to be good-natured. Dogs by nature are social animals, but you have to train them how to properly fit in with other dogs and other people. Don't chain your dog outside or just throw him in the basement and leave him there. He needs to be a part of your household. Bring him upstairs, make him a part of your family. Give your dog good dog food. That's dog food, not your food. And make sure you give your dog clean water every day. You should take your dog to the vet at least once a year. Remember that there are low-cost clinics in every city. Spaying and neuter is absolutely the best thing that you can do for your animal. You take your animal to the veterinarian, and the veterinarian renders your animal impossible to have puppies. Spaying and neutering your animal prevents it from roaming and therefore possibly biting, plus adding three to five years to your animal's life. A dog speaks, but can you read his body language? A dog is like a book. Never judge him for his cover until you read his pages. All dogs are full of love and emotion. They're just playful and adorable, so sweet you may want to kiss them. A playful dog and a relaxed dog aren't the same, but what's the difference? Just like people, dogs have feelings and different moods. And also just like people, we can learn to read dogs' body language. You're used to reading how people are feeling. You do it all the time. You know when a person is in a happier, playful mood, it's a good time to be with them. A lot of people think 
that if a dog is wagging his tail, he is happy. But sometimes dogs move their tails back and forth when they're angry too. You have to consider all the dog's body language together in order to decide how he is feeling. Look at Kayla. Would you say she is approachable? She looks relaxed and friendly, doesn't she? She is smiling and her body's loose and not tense at all. This is Moose. Would you say he is happy and relaxed? See how his whole body is relaxed and loose? Now look at the details. His mouth is open and his ears are forward. He is even wagging his tail. These are all signs that Moose is happy. With his owner's permission, Moose is showing you that he is a good dog to pet right now. We all know that exercise is good for us. It's also good for your dog. Remember to walk your dog, get him exercise every day. Bring a bag with you when you take your dog for a walk. It's your responsibility, no matter how much you dislike it, to pick up your puppy's poop. Clinton is in a playful mood. Snoopy is showing you that he is playful too. See how his ears are forward and relaxed? His head is low and his rear end is raised up? This is called a play bow, and it means that he is feeling friendly. So with his owner's permission, it would be okay to pet him. Playing with your dogs should not simulate fighting with your dog. That is not a way to socialize your animal. What you should encourage are things like fetching, rolling over, and when your dog has done those things for you, then you reward him, either with a small treat, a little scruff underneath the neck, a little belly rub. All of those things make for bonding between you and your animal and discourages your animal from aggressive behavior. Now here is Kayla again. See how she looks tense? She seems nervous, doesn't she? Now look at Spencer. His whole body is tense, just like Kayla's. Now let's look at the details. See how Spencer's ears are low and back, and his tail is low and between his legs. Those are signs that he is scared. Do not pet a dog who is scared because they are more likely to bite out of fear. What are you doing? Get out of here! I think what everyone can tell what here? Sam is feeling. Get out. He's mad, right? You can Get see the tension here. all over his body. Probably not the best time to hang out with him right now. Now look at Laika. If you just looked at her wagging tail, you might think she was happy, but she's giving you other clues that she's actually feeling something else. See how stiff her body is? Notice her bare teeth and curled lips? She is staring right at you and her ears are back too. Laika is angry right now and telling you that it is definitely not a good time to pet her. can be fit for when he doesn't know who you are please don't approach a dog chained up to a gate or in a parked car with no one around is he a friendly hound if a loose dog approaches you stand like a tree a ball like a rock on the ground depending on what kind of situation remember to have your dog fitted with a proper collar or harness not a toe chain, not a prong chain. No, a proper collar or harness. And walk your dog on a leash. The first thing you should do before you pet a dog is ask the owner for permission. Some dogs don't like to be pet and the owner will tell you if the dog is friendly or not. Can I pet your dog? Sure, but let him sniff the back of your hand first. Why? Because it's a way for him to get to know you. See how Elmo sniffed Ariel's hand and didn't back away? Now she can pet Elmo. Pet in the direction that the dog's fur grows, toward the tail. Never pet or pull on a dog's tail. A dog's tail is very sensitive, and even a friendly dog might bite. Remember, never force yourself on a dog if he backs away when you offer him the back of your hand. 
he is not interested in being pet at this time. There are times when a dog needs to be left alone. Dogs need private time just like people. Do not touch or bother dogs when they are eating or nursing, chewing on a bone or toy, or when a dog is sleeping. Dogs might be protective of their food, toys, or babies. These are times they might bite. You might meet a dog who is behind a fence, tied up to a tree or chained in a yard, in a parked car, or even just sitting unattended. Do not put your hand through the fence or go into the yard because the dog may feel protective of his yard. Do not approach or try to pet a restrained dog. He may feel trapped if he is chained to something and bite to protect himself. Do not try to touch a dog left in a parked car. Leaving your dog in a parked car is not a good idea. A parked car can go from 76 degrees to 115 degrees in 15 minutes. It can become an oven in your car, even with the windows down. Do not approach even a friendly looking dog who is left alone. Now sometime you may be approached by a loose dog. Remember, do not run away. Instead, you should stand still like a tree with your arms at your side. Do not look directly at the dog because he may take this as a threat. Most likely, the dog will lose interest in you and move on. When he leaves, call your local animal care and control to let them know about the dog so that they could try to help return him to his owner or help find him a new home. Your animal should be fitted with some form of ID, whether that be his rabies tag, a personal ID, or an electronic ID, what's called a microchip. If the dog does not go away and is threatening you, you should drop to the ground and be a rock. Curl up into a tight ball on either your stomach or your side. Put your hands up over your neck and sides of your face and make fists over your ears. This is very important. Do not try to outrun a dog. If you are approached by a loose dog, stand like a tree. Do not make eye contact with a dog. If the dog is threatening you, drop to the ground and be like a rock. Now, it is very unlikely that you will ever need to act like a rock in real life because the vast majority of dogs are safe to be around. Let's put the risk of a dog bite in perspective. Remember when I said that in the United States, 800,000 people a year seek medical attention for dog bites? Well, 8 million people a year go to the hospital because they were injured from simply falling down. Everyone should know how to be safe around dogs. You can't avoid them. They're everywhere in the neighborhood. Use all you have learned in this video to be safe around dogs. Care for them properly and enjoy all they have to offer. Now that I've got your undivided attention, I hope it was a lot of help. Don't get twisted in the mind. You heard the message, so please don't strangle yourself. <laughs>